Detroit, though, give credit to them. They made, they came ready to play. The Boston Celtics had it until they didn't, as the Detroit Pistons snapped the Celtics' nine-game winning streak with a 112-111 to finish. Now this season, they had a strong first half as Jalen Brown again had the hot hand, and they led by four heading into halftime. However, down the stretch, the seas they fizzled out as the Pistons proved to be the more physical team as they closed this one out. It definitely leaves a, a, a bad taste in your mouth before the break. Definitely a game that we got to find a way to win. Um, Detroit, though, give credit to them. They made, they came ready to play. They made some tough baskets down the stretch. Uh, Sadiq Bay, uh, tough step back, jumper to end the, bu the buzzer. Jeremy Grant turned around, the game on the line. You know, they, they came to play. They were the more deserving team tonight. Uh, we didn't guard as well, obviously, in the second half. Uh, felt we defended well in the first half, but couldn't score, um, you know, looked a little sloppy there execution-wise the first half. Second half, you know, giving up a 36-point quarter, um, third quarter, we didn't defend like we had been. A lot of things we could have controlled and, uh, you know, the second chance points hurt us. Uh, you know, Sadiq Bay at one time coming in there late, getting that offensive rebound, that put back with us not boxing out there and uh, little things like that that just kept adding up. Um, and. And combined with some, like I said, with some tough shots that they hit, um, you know, on offense, you know, at times we probably could have been a little crispier, crisper, but, um, you know, uh, we were still in position to, you know, to win the game there at the end. As the Celtics now enter the All-Star break, Jalen Brown said post-game that it's important for this Celtics team to come back as a more focused and aggressive group. He also said he's looking forward to coming back as the best version of himself.